Hey everyone, welcome back again to another Flutter tutorial. And in this session, we will discuss about one of the packages known as Quick Accents. So this package allows us to directly interact with the app right from the home screen. So we have here a sample demo app which utilizes the package. And this is the home screen where we have two elevated buttons right this center. So this first button is going to take us to the first page. Okay, and the second page button is going to take us to the second page. So these two buttons is going to navigate the user to the corresponding pages that is the first page or the second page. Okay, and this first page and second page are two independent dart files. So you can see here we have the first page um, created over here which is a stateless widget. Likewise the second page is going to be a st again a stateless widget. Okay, so nothing much. So this is all about what we have inside the app. Now speaking about the functionality of the package, let me just minimize this app. And you can see here this is the app what we have been discussing right now and if I long press the app icon you get few quick accents right over here in the home page. So this first page and second page are custom defined accents what we have created as a result of this package. And we can just leave these two buttons right at the bottom because this is something which we get by default so we will survive that for discussion right now. Since we have two pages I have just created two buttons right over here in the quick accents itself. And if I click this first page, it is going to take us directly to the first page of the app. You don't need to go in the hierarchical manner. Likewise, if you just click the second page, it is going to take you directly to the second page of the app. So this is the functionality what we will be achieving as a result of this package. I hope you got a better understanding of what we are about to discuss in this video. For without wasting time, let's directly jump into the coding part and get this done. First, we need to start by adding the package in the first pack. Just add this package which is quick accents and always check for the latest version. After adding this package, let's move on to the main.dat file. Starting in the main.dat file, well, we have made use of generated routes where the initial route points to my home page. You can see here the initial route directly points to the my home page and we have two other navigations just for the first page and the second page. Here inside my home page, we have a stateful widget class containing the app bar. And a body right in the center we have a column widget that grabs the two elevated buttons okay and these two elevated buttons is going to navigate us to the corresponding page which is the first page or the second page okay therefore this is going to be the starter project and let's just start implementing the functionality now first let's start by initializing the quick accents okay so let's create an instance for that and within which we will be initializing the quick accents and it is going to be inside the custom function that is the initialize quick accents and with the help of the dot initialize of method we will be able to initialize the quick accent instance we will be providing or will be just specifying to which page it needs to be navigated upon clicking the button from the quick accents right from the home page so that functionality will be written down first if the shortcut type is going to be the first page screen then we will be navigating the user to the first page likewise the second page and by default we have the first page so this navigation is going to be the custom defined function which we will be just defining shortly okay after initializing the quick accents we need to create the shortcut items shortcut items are nothing but the call to action buttons what we need to add inside the quick accents okay so that is going to take a list of parameters you can have any number of call to action buttons in your quick accents for now just specifying two shortcut items one for first screen and another for the second screen okay so it is going to take the type the localized title and the icon all right okay so this navigator method is going to be the push named method routing all right with this we complete the implementation part now let's just try checking it let me minimize this app and if i long press this you'll be able to see to call to accents being displayed right over here in the quick accents and if i click this first page it is going to take us to the first page and let me just minimize this app and once again let me click the second page and it just takes us to the second page as well okay you can see here by default we get this dart indicator as the icon here for the icon we have just provided us a string which is image one same for first page and the second page but we haven't added the image one for the inside the assets folder first addressing the android part for the android we need to go and say the android folder app source the main within which we have the resource folder and we inside the drawable we need to add the image file over here just to provide any custom icon you need to add the corresponding image icon over here inside this drawable folder 
okay and i have my own icon and let me just drag and drop it inside the drawable okay and this is for android part right now we have been testing it in the ios simulator therefore we need to open the project in xcode just right click and open it in xcode and here we have the runner and inside this runner we have another runner over here just expand it and within which we have the assets here it says the assets just the same way you can add your custom icon over here and also add 2x or 3x totally depends upon your use case for this tutorial let's leave it within 1x which is totally fine for me and just save it Now let me just stop and uninstall the app and reinstall it once again just to check for the changes okay so let me just restart the app once again and this time you should be able to see that corresponding icon instead of the dot indicator we got the app up and running let me just minimize it and you can see here now you will be able to view in this icon that is the icon what we have added instead of the default dot icon okay so this is how you can add your custom image as well inside this quick accents so the app seems to be working fine unless we do some manual testing say for example if i minimize this app and try to open the first page okay now let me just minimize it once again and try to reopen the same first page and if i click this back button you once again get the same first page the reason is that the same first page is being added on to the navigator stack once again so two first pages is been currently pushed into the navigator stack and that is the reason we get two first pages pushed once again one over the other and if i click next you will be able to see the my home page just the same way say for example now let me navigate to the second page now let me minimize it and from the shortcut i will be trying to open the same second page if I click this back button you get once again get the same page after which you will be get able to see the my home page so this seems to be something which we won't expect say our app therefore to remove that we just need to add another line over here before the navigation which is post named and remove until what what this line does is that it tries to add this it tries to push this initial route onto the top of the navigation stack and after pushing this initial route and tries to clear the routes that are below this so likewise you will be able to get only this initial route being added to the navigation stack and by doing so if i hard restart this you won't be able to get the same error once again so let me just navigate to the first page and let me minimize it and try to open the first page again and if i click this back button it directly takes us to the home page we won't be able to see this another first page once again by doing by just by adding this line we have just removed that error as well okay this is how we'll be able to implement this quick accents inside our flutter app hope you guys found this tutorial useful if you do so consider subscribing and i will see you in the next one bye